Well, Ernest Cavanaugh was a Dublin man. He was a Dublin clerk for the Irish Transport and General Workers Union. So he was a full-time clerk from the summer of 1912 uh, at Liberty Hall and James Larkin was his boss. But he wasn't just the clerk at Liberty Hall, he was also the cartoonist for Jim Larkin's weekly newspaper, The Irish Worker. Now he was an interesting individual. He came from a Fenian family. His father was a Fenian who went back to the time of the 1867 Rising. Uh, he was living in Rat Mines at the time that he began working at Liberty Hall. And between 1912 to 1914, before The Irish Worker was suppressed, Ernest Cavanaugh was the main cartoonist for. Larkin's paper and Larkin's paper was very unusual in that it sold an awful lot of copies. It sold around 14, 15,000 copies per week, sometimes over 20,000 copies, um, which was infinitely greater than any Labour or Socialist paper that had ever been in Ireland before that. And Ernest Cavanaugh's cartoons for around two years became uh, a trademark of the newspaper. Big, hard hitting cartoons, usually prominently placed on the front page. So he, he was a full time clerk. Um, but he was an artist as well, but all his cartoons were drawn on a voluntary basis. Uh, and he, he also drew for other newspapers, other nationalist and suffrage newspapers at the time, but the Irish Worker was really where he made his name, if you like. The main aims uh, of Kavanaugh's cartoons were to try and make people angry. A lot of cartoonists, their job is to make people laugh. They try to poke fun at people at their targets and they make people laugh, but Ernest Kavanaugh was reflective of the Irish Worker as a whole in that he wasn't trying to make people laugh uh, at, at the subjects. He was trying to make the subjects out to be villains and to make people very angry. So you have really harsh depictions of the Dublin Metropolitan Police, politicians like the Lord Mayor of Dublin, Lorcan Sherlock, John Redmond, the leader of the Irish Parliamentary Party, and above all else, uh, William Martin Murphy. It, it was Cavanaugh's cartoons of William Martin Murphy um, that have been reprinted more than any others. Uh, it was Cavanaugh's cartoons that really captured this image of William Martin Murphy as William Murder. Um, Murphy. So he was always attacking people viciously. There was no attempt to leave people in any doubt about his cartoons. It was very rare for him to use subtlety. Sometimes subtlety crept into his cartoons, but by and large they were very forceful, very easy to understand, and they were designed to make people angry at the time. Well, I think Kavanaugh was very important in making people view William Martin Murphy as somewhat of a caricature of the, the evil capitalist. Uh, during the Asquid inquiry in 1913, uh, which was set up to try and bring the, the lockout to an end. Uh, William Martin Murphy's lawyer, uh, Tim Healy, actually held up the Irish worker of the 6th of September 1913, which had the famous Demon of Debt cartoon on the front page. And Healy showed this to the courtroom and said that this is the type of persecution that my client has to face from Larkin's newspaper on a weekly basis. So it was, I think it was very important because even now, like, like as time went by, people did remember Murphy as murder Murphy in, in Dublin working class circles especially and even now in the current Leaving Cert textbooks that demon of debt cartoon is in all the current Leaving Cert history textbooks so I think he did have a, a role to play.